Have you ever seen a cool text effect on a website and thought, wow, how did they do that? Or even better, how can I add it to my website? We are going to dive into a fun and simple JavaScript effect that makes text look like it's being decoded one letter at a time. So first, let's set up our HTML. It's really simple, just an h1 tag with an ID, like text. This will hold the text that we want to animate. Next, let's style our page. We want the text to be centered and to look nice and clean. We will use a monospaced font like Source Code Pro, which makes sure every character takes up the same amount of space. This helps our animation look more uniform. Now, on to the fun part, the JavaScript. Our goal is to create an animation where the text starts as random letters and slowly transforms to reveal the hidden message. Let's break down how we're going to do this. So here's the plan. Grab the text from our H1 tag and save it so we can reveal it later. For each character in our hidden word, generate a random character to display initially. Gradually reveal the actual characters one by one. Let's start by setting up some variables. We need a string of all the alphabet letters so we can pick random ones. We also need to reference our h1 tag and get its text content. Now we need an animation loop. This loop will run continuously updating the text on the screen. We'll use request animation frame for this, which is perfect for smooth animations because it syncs with the screen's refresh rate. In our animation loop, we need to do a few things. Calculate the time passed since the last frame. This helps us control the speed of our animation and determine how many characters we should reveal based on the elapsed time and randomly replace characters that haven't been revealed yet. Think of it like this. If you want to reveal one character every 100 milliseconds, we can use the elapsed time to figure out how many characters to show. For example, if half a second has passed, we reveal five characters. We will start by creating random characters to replace the hidden text. For this, we will loop through each character position in our hidden text. If the position is within the number of characters to reveal, we show the real character. Otherwise, we pick a random letter. To pick a random letter, we will use math.random to get a number between 0 and 1. Multiply it by the length of the alphabet and use math.floor to round down to a whole number. This gives us an index to pick a random letter from our alphabet string. We also need to handle the timing. Request animation frame gives us a timestamp, which we can use to calculate the time since the last frame. We will store the last timestamp and update it every frame to keep track of the elapsed time. By dividing the elapsed time by the time we want between each character reveal, we get the number of characters to reveal. We will use this in our loop to decide whether to show the real character or a random one. Finally, let's add a feature to restart the animation by clicking on the text. This is super easy. We just add an event listener to reset the elapsed time whenever the text is clicked. And there you have it. You can find the full code on my code pen linked in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for some more awesome tutorials. Stay awesome and happy coding.